Good afternoon, Paddington. This is Mr. Littler speaking. This summer, I'm going on holiday to Sicily, an island off the coast of southern Italy. I'll be flying with British Airways from Heathrow Airport, and I hope to spend some time relaxing in the sun by the Mediterranean Sea and trying lots of different Italian foods. At this very moment, there are thousands of other people making their way towards the coast of Sicily. But they're not flying, like me. Some are crammed in the back of trucks in Libya and Egypt. Others are huddled together for warmth in the hold of smuggling ships, adrift in the Mediterranean Sea, hungry and lonely, having left their loved ones behind, trying to reach Europe for a better and safer life. Tragically, many of these people won't make it to Italy. Many of the boats migrants are using to cross the Mediterranean aren't safe. Some boats capsize because too many people are on board. Other boats are abandoned by the smugglers, leaving the migrants to look after themselves. Sadly, this means that many drown or die of thirst on their way to Europe. Three and a half thousand people died in this way last year. And when we watch the news or read newspapers, it can be difficult to properly understand the significance of the statistics that we hear. It's sometimes hard to remember that behind every number there is a real person, someone's mother or father, brother or sister. Sometimes, whether it's because we're a long way away, or because people are different to us, or just because we're more worried about our own lives, we shut out other people's feelings. That is why it's so important that we're good at feeling empathy. And this is the message that I want to share with you today. To feel empathy, or to empathise with someone, means that you're putting yourself in their shoes and imagining what it would be like to experience what they are thinking and feeling. In some ways, our ability to empathise is what makes us human. Empathy is an extremely powerful skill. It brings people closer together because it allows us to demonstrate that we have a deeper understanding of what the other person is going through. So this week, I want to set you a challenge. I want you to practice your empathy skills, and I want you to do this in three different ways. First, I don't want you to feel sorry for people who risk their lives in the Mediterranean Sea. I want you instead to imagine what it would be like to be somebody who is making the dangerous journey from North Africa to Europe across the sea. What do you think they can see and hear and smell? What kind of fear and loneliness might they be feeling? Secondly, if you have a friend who's upset about something, try to listen to them and try to imagine exactly how they feel and why they're upset. And thirdly, and this one's a bit harder, if you yourself are upset with somebody else, try for a moment to think about how they feel and why they might be upset with you. Thank you.